So, what is serious games? What's the definition of serious games? I would say serious games is an experience designed using game. It's a game. And me game, mechanism, uh, game mechanics, because it's a game, it has a game mechanics, and game thinking to educate individuals in a specific content domain. And under this serious games, there are so many types, and it's still emerging, new types. And not only the new types are emerging, but the ways to categorize it in a better way is still emerging and ongoing. And then, what about gamification? What is gamification? I would say gamification is using game-based mechanics, aesthetics, and game thinking to engage people, motivate action, promote learning, and solve problems. I'm not saying using games. I'm saying using game elements and mechanics. So elements of gamification, it's game-based, it has game mechanics, it has aesthetics, uh, this is the user interface or the look and feel of the game. It, it has a game interface, but it's not really a, a game or the off-the-shelf game that you're using. No. And of course, the thinking is game thinking, it has an engagement, and it motivates action, and in the end, it solves problems. Sometimes, games do not, uh, I won't say do not, sometimes games are not designed to solve problems, right? It's for pure entertainment sometimes. But gamification is, in the end, to solve problems. Okay, so what are the elements of game? A game is a system in which players engage in an abstract challenge. Like I think you mentioned about Nike Plus, there's a challenge. And defined by rules, there's a rule. And interactivity, you do something, you input something, you have a result, instant result and the feedback, and that eventually results in a quantifiable outcome, often eliciting an emotional reaction. You might get a star, you might get a badge, or you might blow up. <laughs> Negative impact, right? But in the end, you have something as a feedback, and from that feedback, your emotion is derived. A uh, system, players, abstract, challenge, rules, interactivity, feedback, quantifiable outcome, emotional reaction. These are the elements of games. So, gamification. Gamification is not using games, but using game mechanics and game elements found in pedometer. Let's look at the pedometer. Ma, uh, I won't say Nike Plus has a pedometer, but uh, it has some aspects, right? It's not a game, but it has a game elements. And another impact is the Nintendo DS personal trainer walking. This is a little bit confusing because when you say Nintendo DS, hey, it's a game, right? Off-the-shelf game. But it is also a gamification approach where you use a pedometer and use a gamification approach with a game mechanics and game elements, but happens to be in a game category and sold through a game channel. Again, uh, everyone knows Ingress, right? Pokemon Go? <laughs> That's behind Pokemon Go, but um, 
It's about uh, uh, visiting locations. When you play, and it, if you go to a certain location, then you occupy that location. But sometimes, if you don't go there often, other people will occupy that <laughs> location. So it's like, you know, taking lands. And um, this is a mobile game. But if this game elements and game mechanics put into good use through gamification, this is something that comes out. Adopt a hydrant. Um, this is in uh, North America. When, when it snows, the hydrant is covered by snow. So you want someone, a volunteer, to shovel that out. So what they did was they used a same game element and mechanics and applied it as a gamification technique in a good use. So if you go there, you shovel it, then you get a point for that. You own that hydrant. And next day, there's another snow. If someone beats you and someone else shovels that, it's his now, you know. But if you're in the game mechanics and motivated, it's a sustainable environment. So, uh, we've looked through uh, serious games and gamification and the definition. So, what are the differences? So, the blue circle is the game element. And serious games is using games, actually. And gamification is taking the game element and applying that through game mechanics into real life environment. Doesn't necessarily have to use games. So serious games, of course, the media would be games. And gamification, game design, which are not just games. And goal for serious games is for good purpose and intention. Pure games sometimes are designed to just have entertainment. But serious games use games in a good purpose and intention. And for gamification, make user engaged and motivated through game elements and mechanics. That's the goal. Strongly influenced trend for serious games is mostly elements of game design. If the game design, if, if a new game design element emerges, then that's the most impactful to serious games. But for gamification, uh, most in fact, impactful trend that we see today is the social aspect. For example, uh, Nike Plus, when you're running, you get badges through a social crowd who you don't even know, right? And you get motivated. And this is, uh, uh, this is another area that uh, impacts gamification. And also, uh, this is another chart that explains the differences and the positioning of each terminology. Serious games, using or developing games for serious purposes. Gamification, using game design in media, doesn't necessarily have to be game or activity. And there's another terminology, game next, but I won't uh, go into detail here because I don't want to confuse you. So, now you start getting the concrete uh, picture, maybe a little vague, but I want to just confirm. This is a model from Andreas Makzelski about defining or classifying games and serious games or the simulation 
or the gamification or the game for design game next into a table chart. I'll just give you an answer, okay? <laughs> I usually do a workshop, but uh, since we're being filmed, <laughs> okay? Okay, I'm being, I'm being generous to all of you. Okay, so game for design and game next is about game thinking, okay? It could be for pure entertainment. And gamification is using game thinking and game elements. Doesn't have to be on a game platform or game device. Serious games and simulation using game thinking and game elements into a gameplay. But for good purposes, for game, game thinking, game elements, gameplay, and just for pure entertainment. So this is something that uh, is easy to kind of understand. And also, you can define and categorize through gameplay and no gameplay and fun and purpose. Okay, so if the purpose is for good use with a gameplay design, serious games. No gameplay. You're not using games. No game, no gameplay means you're not using games. But using game thinking and game elements to a good purpose. Oops, sorry. That's gamification. Oops, sorry. And if you're using gameplay for pure fun, that's games. And no gameplay, you're not using games, but just for fun, you're using game for design and game mechanics. That's it. Okay? So this is where it all falls into. Oh, sure. uh, you explained to us that the elements, whether gameplay exists or not, uh, is the, the biggest element uh, to classify the serious games and uh, a gamification, right? And you, the, the examples you, you presented is always uh, using using some kinds of apps or mobile uh, hardware mm -hmm. such as 3ds or so on mm -hmm. and my question is if uh, uh, for example the rise up program mm. I think it's rise the, up, uh, it, yeah, yeah the diet yes, yes, pro yes, program yes. that is contains many of the gamification elements yes but it's the the program always uh, do not uh, we we do not need the hardware or mobile phone or some kind of app. Yep. But uh, is it is it the game, gamification example? The Rise uh, Up program. Yes. Yes. For example, uh, let me come up with a good example. For example, there is like a reading marathon, where you have to read a lot of books. Then, uh, like five books you've read, then you get a stamp for that. And if there's a game thinking and game design and game elements in, although you're not using apps or game itself, you're using gamification. So it's classified under gamification. So what you just mentioned about the uh, Rise Up program is gamification. If they're using game elements, game mechanics, put into a good use. To motivate, oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Yes, so that's a very good question, yes.